This installment of the Look Back series is about Dred and Harriet Scott, two slaves who went down to the St. Louis courthouse, we call it the old court courthouse today, in 1846 and filed for their freedom. It was not a controversial case back then, but the winds were shifting in the slavery debate in America, getting a lot more strident in the arguments. And by 1857, when the U.S. Supreme Court ruled against them, it was a national case, and the storm helped push the nation toward the Civil War. Dred and Harriet Scott met up at Fort Snelling near today's Minneapolis-St. Paul. They were owned by an army doctor who had been in St. Louis before. He brought them back to St. Louis. He died, and his widow took possession of them. They went down to the courthouse in 1846 and filed a fairly non-controversial non case on the principle of once free, always free. And Missouri judges had freed quite a number of slaves on that theory. But by then, the pro-slavery forces in the Missouri legislature and in the judiciary were getting more and more assertive because the national debate was getting nastier. And even though the Scots won a jury trial in downtown St. Louis, the Missouri Supreme Court reversed the precedent, saying times are not now what they used to be. The Scots then appealed to the U.S. District Court here, were rebuffed again, and then the case went to the U.S. Supreme Court. Roswell Field was a lawyer here whose son Eugene became a poet, and Roswell helped prepare the federal appeal. But the case and the decision and the players involved in St. Louis make for a complicated stew that help explain how difficult the slavery issue was in the United States.